Hello everyone and welcome back and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a bunch of information that once again has surfaced online regarding the PlayStation 4. So things like exclusive collectibles that we may be seeing on the PlayStation 4 and also a widespread article that is going around right now which does insinuate that we may be seeing a potential release or a two week early release of GTA 5 for the next gen. So of course I hope you all do go on to enjoy today's video once again kind of grouping information into one video today rather than doing them all individually and let me know in the comment section down below do you prefer it when I group them into one video or do you prefer it when I do them individually so of course hope you will do go on to enjoy and let's get straight into the video so we're going to start off with the PS4 collectibles that did surface on the PlayStation Store now it's not actually information about what these collectibles are it's kind of just stating that we are going to be seeing some kind of collectibles for returning players of GTA 5 now as you guys probably know by now the pre-order bonuses have kind of been flaring up online all over the PlayStation stores as well as the Xbox stores about the pre-order bonus Bonuses. So within that on the PlayStation Store, there's actually an image which as you guys can see on screen right now Which does stay exclusive content returning players get new vehicles collectibles weapons and more now We already knew about the new vehicles weapons and more from the Rockstar Newswire But they never announced anything about collectibles I believe the vehicles that we are going to be getting or returning players are going to be getting is known as the Dodo seaplane as well as the vehicle Which is known as the Dukes as well. So uh, as far as the weapons go, we currently don't know what the weapons are but right Rockstar never gave us any information regarding exclusive collectibles and traditionally when I think of collectibles in GTA 5 I think of things like the spaceship parts and the letters and things like that so of course this sparks curiosity what could exclusive collectibles mean in Rockstar's eyes what kind of exclusive collectibles could we possibly get for the next gen versions of the PlayStation 4 pre-order bonus um, I want to know your guys opinions on this I wanted to kind of bring it to your guys attention as it does seem that we are going to be getting exclusive collectibles and what could these be let me know your thoughts down down in the comment section down below. Anyway, moving into the next piece of information today, which I kind of want you guys to take with a grain of salt. This is an article that seems to be blowing up online right now. So once again, I will have a link to the article down in the description down below if any of you guys want to go ahead and check it out. But basically, this article is about a German user who somehow managed to add Grand Theft Auto V to his download queue on the PlayStation 4. For anybody who doesn't know, once again, you can now pre-order the version of GTA V or the digital download version of GTA V on your PlayStation 4 and Xbox One now. Now, we somehow glitched that out. I'm not too sure how he's done this or if it just randomly happened, but he somehow managed to get this inside of his download queue. Now, because of this, an article did end up reporting on it, and once again, a link to the article will be down in the description down below. But basically, within the article was an image of the download queue itself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that image now. It does have the article's watermark or the logo in the top right corner, which is why the logo is there, and you guys are probably thinking, what the hell is that? Uh, but basically, this is the download queue of the PlayStation 4, or the German version of the download queue of the PlayStation for now once again guys take this information with a grain of salt because mistakes could have been made here or a bunch of different variables can take effect on this but essentially the release date states the 4th of the 11th 2014 which is basically November the 4th 2014 which is actually two weeks before the release date of the actual next gen versions of GTA 5 now because of this article and because of actually what's happened a lot of people are starting to believe now that we may be seeing the PlayStation 4 version two weeks earlier than the Xbox one version and in my honest opinion I don't think that's the case I believe a mistake may have been made and maybe that was the original release date which may have been changed in the future or I feel like something may have gone wrong down the line I really don't think that we're going to be seeing the PlayStation 4 version two weeks earlier than the Xbox one version and once again I'm just trying to report on the information at hand as a lot of users are starting to believe that we may be seeing the PS4 version two weeks earlier because of this article so I'm not entirely sure let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below I truly don't believe that this is going to be the case and I truly do believe that it may be a mistake was made on the PlayStation store or something along them lines and once again let me know your thoughts down below anyway guys that pretty much wraps it up for today's video if you did enjoy be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below also i'm going to be doing another video in a few hours after this one so if you do want to see that make sure you check back in a few hours to my channel and with that being said i will see you all later with a brand new video